All right, guys, welcome back. So I'm in the uh, crew lounge tonight, and, you know, at the beginning of uh, Springfield, I told myself, I'm not going to buy another car. I don't need anything. I'm definitely not buying rolling stock. And, well, that happened. So uh, let's take a look at what I got. All right, so welcome back to the crew lounge, and... Um, I'm going to go over and just show everyone um, all the items that uh, came home with me from the uh, 2024 Amherst train show. Uh, and I think uh, to start off, I think uh, I would say this, and uh, I'll, I'm going to repeat what Heath says from Humanity Junction. I got a problem, but some of these deals you just couldn't pass up. So I didn't spend a lot this year, but... Let's just go over what I what I found. So we're gonna go over some of the um, pieces of rolling stock that I found. And you know, recently I rebuilt the uh, Birmingham Junction um, module, and I had a billboard with uh, Uncle Sam on it. And um, seeing this car there, it was pretty cool. It's brand new. It's a um, roundhouse. It's a kit, but uh, this is perfect for my layout. So. I'm glad I got that one. And then I, this is actually the second one of these that I found, but this one here is wood. What appears to be a wood car. Um, I'm not sure who the make is. It says Walters, but I don't know. But anyway, very nice looking car. I got an excellent deal on this car. I think I spent like five bucks for this car. So that's why I grabbed it. It looks like it has metal wheels, sprung trucks, and it looks like it has KDs. So great find. The same vendor, my son actually found these. You know, we found two of them actually. And they're like maintenance away, like ballast cars, but they're made out of wood. And the only reason why I know the side panel got blown out but I do have uh, I do have that piece, so they're gonna need a little work, but I don't have anything like this, so I thought it was unique to bring home, and it looks like they have I don't even know kind of could be Katie couplers, but they're both of them have sprung trucks, um, but they're gonna need a little work, nothing crazy though, so I picked these two up as well. And then when I was looking at Tom's trains, I found this one. And this was a custom paint job by uh, Greg Gordon. And the decal film that's on here is very, very thin. Um, it, the car is well done. And the only thing I'm probably gonna have to put on it is metal wheels, but it has KDs. And what did I, I think I got this car for seven bucks. So, you know, I, I'm, uh, oh, one other thing is he painted the roof silver. And I was like, wow, that, that came out really good and it really contrasts the car nice. So um, I saw that, I'm like, yeah, I gotta have this one. And for seven bucks, you can't go wrong. So you spend a couple bucks on metal wheels and you got a beautiful looking car to, uh, to run on the layout. So, you know, while the blue box lags, lags detail, it doesn't bother me too much. Because if you put these cars in mixed in with Intermountain and everything else, no one's gonna know the difference. So um, these are definitely a lot of fun to build. So I ended up with that one. And then, sorry for moving the camera. And then this one here, I got Tom's Trains too. It's gonna need couplers and wheels, but it's uh, beets, carrots. It's a canning car. It's an ice reefer. I'm not sure who makes this. It might be a Walther's. I think it's a Walther's. But again, it's gonna need some metal wheels and um, some metal, or metal wheels and couplers grab some more kds so nice little addition and then in the same box these were loose no box that came with them um 
<clears throat> is this car here. Uh, I saw this. I'm like, wow, that's pretty good. And this was sitting next to the next to the uh, the ice reefer there. And I think I got both of these cars for like 12 bucks. So this is going to need uh, metal wheels, um, new couplers. This is missing the little clip for the coupler, but I stocked those, so that's not a big deal. But um, and the other thing is, you can see where the glue is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with um, dull coat, and uh, that should take care of that. But it's got a little blemish on the Norfolk and Western, but I can easily block that out with a little weathering. But it has all the uh, stakes, it has the brake wheel, um, all four steps are intact, so that's why I grabbed it. And the other reason what attracted to me to this car, to this car was I noticed that the uh, weight was painted like a flat black, and which I like because when I see this, I know that whoever built this took the time to paint it so it didn't look really bad with like a silver um, weight underneath there. So this is why I, I grab stuff like this. Um, and then, actually I got one more from Tom's Trains. When I see the, um, the bell, when I see this label, I always open the box. So I found this one. I don't have one of these. This is brand new. Um, it's never been built. Um, this is how I like to find them. But if they come pre-built, that's fine. But uh, I'm really happy to get this car. I actually had this car in my hand and then I put it back down and, and then I says, I have to get that car. So I think I got this one for seven bucks as well. So not a bad, uh, not a bad deal for the rolling stock. And also uh, every year Amherst puts out their own club car. And this year Scale Trains did it with, and it is a gondola. So I ended up getting two of these and I believe they made four numbers. Yep, for the Amherst belt lines. So these are nice. I'm not sure based on the date, I think this might be too new for the New Haven, but my layout, I'm gonna run them. So then let's see what else. So I got a, a schedule, got a piece of history from the New Haven. And then Grandpa Rails, if you're watching, I didn't forget you. So I picked this up for Grandpa Rails at one of the tool um, the tool vendors there. He saw that I got one of these at a show. So uh, I told him if I see these again, I'll pick them up for him. So uh, I'll be sending this out to uh, Grandpa Rails soon. All right, let's go over here. I got some tools. I got some tweezers, three sets of tweezers. I, uh, these are like two bucks a piece. And then I got a new cutting mat. Um, and then I, when I was in the uh, Stro building, I came across um, these. These are 3D printed transformers uh, from Yelton Models. I never heard of this company before, but I looked at the, um, the quality. And I'll tell you, New Haven used to have these on the side of the tracks and it's very similar to it. It's not 100%, but it'll pass. I mean, it even has the uh, the junction box on the side. This is a beautiful model. This was only nine bucks. So I'm gonna end up painting this and then maybe I'll do a video on this, um, on this product here because I was impressed. And then I was really impressed. So when I started looking around at all the other items that they had to offer and my favorite truck would be Model Mac. The B Model Mac is a tractor, a single axle tractor. They had a double axle tractor, I just, but I wanted to build one first uh, to see, uh, you know, how how it was going to go together, and um, we'll see how it goes. But I'll do a video on these uh, on these castings. If you want to see more of these, um, I got these at Spring Creek Model Trains, so Spring Creek I believe sells these. And this truck is only twenty bucks. So definitely, uh, definitely gonna be an interesting project. So then I, uh, I paid a visit to Best Trains and I had to get some castings for an upcoming project. So I got these gears. 
then I also got stacks of hubcaps. So I will be doing a build on a scrapyard and also a body shop. And also I got this kit here. This was a limited run kit uh, for Dirt Spot. So I, I got one of these. And it's a bait and tackle, perfect for any type of harbor. And since I'm gonna have three harbors on my layout, uh, I need some smaller structures for that. So I got that. And then the structure in the background you see here was being sold by the Amherst um, Train Society. And I got this building for 20 bucks. Now, I have this in kit form already, but I can make a flat out of it. The reason why I picked it up was I looked up the price on this and I saw these at the show. Just this section from this level up, oh, I'm sorry, this level down is like 35 bucks. And then the add-on kit, which attracted, you know, which drew me to this um, to this model, but I noticed I had the uh, add-on kit. I believe those are another 20 bucks. So I can buy $50 worth of kit or I can buy a $20 model that's completed. I can add a little bit more detail to it, um, but it's not bad. It actually has uh, rolls of paper in there. Um, it is a uh, Carter Rice uh, paper. So it came off someone's layout, I'm not sure where, but um, I added that to the uh, my collection of structures. So I intend to use that on the layout. So the other thing was, um, I needed switches. So I picked up two SL89s on, this is gonna be on the area, on the layout that I'm gonna show you my next update but uh, I'm gonna slowly get these switches. So this is for the next section of track I'm gonna put down on the, uh, the old H&H. &H. So the other thing, and I, oh, I got these, uh, I got these at Yankee Dab, where I believe they're like 26 bucks. Very good price for these. And these are the Pico, um, Pico Insel Frogs, SL89s. So the original tracks, on the H&H, &H, and this is the original switch. Um, I decided some of these have gaps in them, and so I decided to not use these. So I needed to find a replacement. And you know, these are our code 100, and I had to figure out where I can get it. So last year when I was at the show, I found I saw something very similar that Atlas makes. So this year I bought, I bought one to start, and then I'll figure out how many I'm gonna need. Now, this is a big switch. So the outside is 30 and the inside is 22, I believe. Yes, 22 and 30. So when you take the original switch, and line it up, the original switch is this a tad bit longer than the Atlas, but it's pretty much the same radius. So this will be the solution for these bad switches. So I got this one at Yankee Dabbler as well. This switch was 24 bucks. So that was a heck of a price. So thank you Yan uh, Yankee Dabbler for having good uh, pricing. Now, let's see, did I miss anything? Yes, I missed one thing. So I've been watching this company for a bit now for the last couple years and they came out with this new model and CMR, Custom Model Railroads, they have some gorgeous kits. And um, I saw this and this is modeled after a, um, a building in Brooklyn, New York and it's a brownstone. <clears throat> and I, I saw it, I'm like, I can put that on the layout where the uh, car floats are and stuff like that because I'm going to have New York City on my layout. It's not that big of a kit, so I, ne I, I never built one of these. So this will be a, a cool video to make, but I'll do step-by-step uh, -step on how I did it. And then um, they gave me a free um, glue applicator to build it since I was uh, one of their new customers. So that's going to be pretty cool to, uh, to build. So I believe that's it. 
Um, that's all the stuff that I got at Springfield this year. Oh, before I forget, I gotta give a shout out to Lombard Hobbies and I'll show you why. So they're giving away scale rulers. There's inches on one side, HO and N scale on the other. And these are metal. Awesome, awesome, awesome uh, promotion. Thank you. And then they were giving these away too. Oh, let's give them a plug. Lombard Hobbies. Check them out. Okay, so there's their there's their phone number. Um, but there is a HO scale track gauge, and then also HO scale wheel gauge. It's also for N scale as well. So for the uh, N scale uh, track gauge and also for the wheel gauge. That's pretty cool, huh? So thank you, Lombard Hobbies. This is really cool. And this is something that they're giving away. I mean, this is really cool. It's probably one of the coolest giveaways I've seen at a train show. So that's it, guys. That's a wrap for Springfield. Um, I hope you're enjoying the uh, content this week, trying something new, putting out daily content post Springfield. And based on the response I'm getting, I will be doing it again next year. So with that, I'm going to end this video and I hope you're enjoying the content so far. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a like. Uh, consider channel membership. I'm doing uh, private videos or channel or member um, member only videos on certain things I'm doing around the layout and some modeling techniques. So if you'd like to be a part of that, it's not necessary, but appreciated. So, uh, this is Ron New Haven rails. Thanks for watching. And, uh, I'll say, I'll see you at the next layout update or live stream, but we'll see you really soon. Thank you. Have a great night.